प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू यू आई पाथ एक्सपो हब चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन बी द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू वॉच द लेटेस्ट ऑटोमेशन वीडियो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू यू आई पाथ एक्सपो हब टूडे इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्लोटिंग रोबोट येस्टरडे वी हैव सीन हाउ टू क्रिएट अ मशीन टेम्पलेट एंड हाउ टू यूटिलाइज दैट सो टूडे इज द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ येस्टरडेज वीडियो वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू लिटरली लर्न how to use a floating robot i am going to show the demo of how do you create a floating robot and how do you connect it to a machine okay so first of all let's understand what is a floating robot so let me give you a situation let's say i mean it happens to most of us when we go to a company um you are not defined with a given desktop or a pc right every day when you logs in it happens that anywhere you like you can log in you have a employee id and password you can log in any system you like in your odc you are not confined okay you have to every day log in here but you have been given a choice to log in anywhere in a given space so such condition what happens your machine changes every day right so this is the condition so if a user is there who logs into a machine daily to a different machine whose machine name would continuously change so in orchestrator if you are a orchestrator admin if somebody ask okay how do you how will you allow that user to use the projects that you have created how would you deploy that so first of all the question is you have to add a machine right but his machine keeps on changing in, in orchestrator you have to add a machine so his machine keeps on changing so when you know the concept of machine template when your machine changes every time you have to use a machine template so you got an answer so you created a machine template okay fine so that one i have shown you in detail in yesterday's video right so i have shown it in in detail how to use that uh, machine template now the question here is you have created a machine template now the next thing is how will you create a robot because there are two steps one is you create a machine the second step is you have to create a robot right so how do you create a robot is something we have i am going to show you so the answer for that is floating robot floating robot means anyone whose machine keeps on changing but he can log log into any machine using his employee id or password whatever given by the company so he can log into his profile and he can access all the resources right so in such cases you have to use a floating robot so how to utilize let let me show you a demo so for that what i'm doing i'm going back to um, the platform.uipath.com or the cloud.uipath.com and here you go to machines so in the machines i have shown you yesterday how to use a template and you can see my previous video and here i have created a template okay so once the template is created go to robots okay so here in the robots you have the plus sign so there are two options one is the standard robot the other one is floating robot how to utilize the standard robot i have shown it multiple times but again let's do us uh, let's take a glance of it okay so standard robot generally what what you do you uh, select the exact machine name right standard robot i mean one user using the machine all the time there is no change in the machine he has been given a laptop and he will be always logging into his laptop so it's not a changing condition right so that is where you will go with the standard mesh uh, robot and you create a standard robot you take the username domain username all that you enter and then you are allowing that user to connect to the orchestrator so whatever you deploy a process or a project will go to his robot right so in the robot system tray when you open you will be able to see it. so the, this is the standard way of configuring it but right now i am going to show you the floating robots how do you connect a floating robot for that very simple option click on click on this one and here you give a name let's say i'm giving a uh, float robot for rakesh let's say okay i have any kind of name you can give so again uh, the condition here is floating robot again is confined with one user okay so one floating robot i'm creating so it is confined with another one user if i have to create one more user then i have to have another floating robot for him so it is individual robots okay but again the facility of this is he can log into any machine and he can utilize this bot okay that is the advantage now the second condition that we have with the floating robot this is the condition number 1 that one user one floating robot the second condition that i have is while i am in the classic folder so there is a entire detailed video i have created 
in the channel to understand the classic folder and modern folder okay and what are the differences so while you are in the classic folder if you are using or creating a project in the classic folder type that is where the pro the rule is that you have to have the attended robot so that means if i have to deploy a project and a user has to use a, a bot it cannot be unattended type it has to be attended floating type so this is a rule defined by uipath orchestrator okay so once the attended robot is selected then it's asking me provide the domain and username so domain and username how do you find it you i think you know it all you do is go to command prompt and here you type who am i and there you get it so rakesh slash user is my domain username so we can let me enter that rakesh user okay so i've given the domain username and now here i am going to click on create okay so this is attended floating so that is where it's not asking you any kind of password for unattended one it requires a password so attended means user has logged in and he has to click on that right manually has to initiate it so there is no password requirement okay so once it is created you can see it is still disconnected right if you see this is still disconnected so how do you connect it back let me show you so all you do is open the robot okay so once you open the uibath robot you can see because it's attended type only when i'm opening it it's getting connected automatically in the background you saw that right so it's getting automatically connected so this is how if i log in tomorrow to a different machine not this one but a different machine using the same username same domain so in a company you have your employee id right so domain remains same and your user id you will enter so when the domain username remains same and i log into any machine my robot will automatically get connected when i open it okay until then it will stay disconnected okay so you have seen that example so if i am not connected if my robot is disconnected from here if i am quitting it so what would happen uh, you can see it got disconnected from here right and the same thing if i want to connect back all i have to do is launch it again and once i launch it if you open this up on the background if you notice it will get connected now okay now it got a green signal it got connected okay so this is how the floating robot works though so the concept uh, is floating robot needs to be used when a user keeps on changing his machine but again his username uh, and the uh, you know the, the, the logging into the profile remains constant right he can use any machine that is where you have to use a floating robot so there are two different role uh, rules i said one is the it has to be used in conjunction with the machine template okay where the machine name is not mandatory it he can use any machine the second rule is that when you are using a classic folder you have to use the attended floating type of robot and if you are using a modern folder you can use any kind of robot that's i am going to show it in the next upcoming videos thank you so much for watching this have a wonderful day guys